Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm marking these two boards so that there's one on each end of these rows of cans. I want to take this hole saw, cut out each one of these holes, and this will fit right down in here, and each hole will take the end of a can. Okay, I've already got them marked out, so let's see what happens when we drill a couple. Okay, as you can see, I've taken this hole saw, it's two and a half inch, and I've cut holes in this board and the other board down on the other end. You can start to see what it's going to look like. What's going to happen is somewhere in this cavity, I want to drill a hole for air to enter this box. It'll go up through these cans, and there'll be another hole in that cavity up there that will return back into the house with warm air. There'll be a 12 volt fan forcing the air through these cans. Now, everything inside this box is going to get painted black because black attracts solar heat. And you could use pipe for this. But these cans have this natural baffle inside of them, which slows the air down as it goes through and lets it heat up better. So the whole idea behind this is to use whatever you can find free, cheap, recycle. It's, it's all about saving money on heat, not spending money. Uh, I'll move along and We'll go to the next step. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, I've taken this piece of, uh, I think it's three quarter inch styrofoam. It's foil on one side. I cut it to fit exactly in my box. I'm building my box upside down because the glass is already mounted in it. Normally you'd build the box and the glass would be the last thing to go on. But since I'm using what I have, I'm building it backwards. So I had to cut this piece of styrofoam. And with my leftover styrofoam I have, I'm going to line the sides. because We want this baby airtight so that all the heat stays in it and goes into the house. So once the inside of it is lined with this stuff, by the way, this is the only thing I've bought, this and one piece of OSB to cover the whole thing for the back. So everything else I've already had. Now this box got these little cavities on both ends. <clears throat> so I'm going to take advantage of those cavities. And this is where my heat's going to enter in, or my cool air is going to enter in. I'm going to drill a hole right here into this cavity. And this will be all painted black too so that it all contains the heat well and it'll be sealed. And then out of this cavity will be where my ductwork comes out into in and out of the house. Leo's helping. So on to the next step, I guess. Right here's how you drill a four inch hole.
didn't say it was easy. But that's one. I'll just use four inch dryer duct. The, the shiny aluminum stuff come out of there into here. Kind of let it lay in there a little bit to stay warm. And I'll pop up out of here into the house. Same thing over here. Water will be coming from the house with cool air going through the cans, heating up. Even on a cool day when it's sunny out, it's like getting in your car when the windows have been up and it's been sunny. It's a little warmer. Well, this thing here with all this black and glass, it'll get up to around 180, 200 degrees inside here and that, that heat will be pumped in the house. Well, we'll see anyway. On to the next step. Okay, one of the steps I haven't went over with yet is painting. Pretty sure everybody knows how to spray paint, but it's part of the project. We already started on this can. So. We're using flat black, the cheapest paint we could find, of course, because it ain't something I had enough of, so I had to go buy some. It's a dollar a can at Walmart. The problem with paint is when it, even after it's dry, with heat hitting it, it's going to want to gas off for a while, which means it's going to smell. So the sooner you can get this done and the longer you can let it dry before winter time comes, the less smell you're going to get in the house. Ideally, you won't have any smell coming in the house once this is done. But if you get in a big hurry and do it all and get it set up and start heating with it, you're gonna, it's going to be smelly. Smell like paint in the house. Now this is my aluminum one side uh, styrofoam board. It's going to get painted black too. I got aluminum on one side because it's going to be hot in there. And I want all the heat to stay in the can area. I don't want it to soak into the wood and make the wood and everything warm and not let heat into the house. So you just hit this. And you see I'm hitting it real light. First coat. This is just how you paint. Time to go over it gets a little darker. Now I'm guessing I'm probably going to use eight to twelve cans of paint on this whole project. So you can figure eight to twelve bucks for paint. This piece of styrofoam is like twelve bucks, but you can get it cheaper. I'm sure Lowe's ain't the cheapest place to go. Probably stop going there. I think you can get this stuff for like seven or eight bucks over at Wolf Wholesale or one of those places. Well, this is going to take a while to paint, but you can see this is part of the project, so I figured I'd throw it in there. Everything but the glass gets painted black. You won't see any wood. It'll all be glass and black. When this thing's done, it'll look like a solar panel. So... On to the next project. Uh, one thing I don't think I mentioned about painting. You can see it's getting darker. I'm using flat black. That's still shiny because it's wet. But when it all dries, it'll be flat. You don't want to use gloss black because anything shiny reflects heat. Reflects sunlight. You don't want to reflect it, you want to absorb it. So, you have to use flat. If you reflect all the heat away, then you're not doing any good at all. So, just wanted to mention that. On to the next step.